Good morning guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Haley. I'm 24 years old. I work as a data analyst in Ottawa, Canada and I'm gonna take you along for a work day in my life today. It's currently a little after 6 and I am just... I've just been reading right now. I'm still reading Chain of Iron. It's like almost a 700 page book so it's taken me quite a while to read it. Just hopping on my computer now to do some work before I go for a walk. I have been, I think I want to start going for walks at sunrise again. Last year, um, at, during the summer, I was doing that every single day, just going for a walk as the sun rose during the week anyways. I was waking up that up, up that early on the weekends, but in a it just seems like something that it's just something that I really enjoyed doing so I want to get back into that and also it just puts me in a good headspace to start work so yeah I just wanted to I don't usually I usually always intro these videos at my desk so I just want to switch it up a bit and talk to you before I did too much in the morning but I'll take you along for the rest of the day. I'll update you what's going on with my actual work day later because I am still on like holiday mindset because it's been it's the Tuesday after the Easter long weekend so I'm I really need to settle myself back into work but good morning <laughs> but I just wanted to say good morning. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So it's now a little after 8.30. Um, I've just been going through my emails because it's a long weekend and some people don't get the Mondays off so I still get emails over the weekend. Oh um, so I and then I just went through and made myself a little to-do list. I have a meeting at 11. Just a team meeting. Just a chat to my team see how everyone's doing catch up kind of thing and so today I need to work on the two um, data visualization projects that I have coming up um, and I am I have actually three left to do but some, one of my coworkers is going to help me out and do one of them so I have to reach out to her to explain what she has to do um, and then I also need to send off that data request that I was working on last week if you saw my last video I it was a pain in the butt but I finished it before the end of last week I just sent it off to my manager to get approval so once he sends gives his approval I'll send that off to the person who requested it and then I also, if I have time today, I want to go through my emails and clean it up because I've been really, my inbox is honestly a mess right now, so I forgot that. I have to look over a document today, so I'm just going to write that down so I don't forget. But it's just about that time in the morning where I'm looking for another little extra pick-me-up. So I'm going to make myself a tea of some sort and I'm also making Steven his coffee because I really like to make coffee so I make his in the morning because I enjoy doing, making it so let's go do that and then when I get back and then I'm gonna just get to work
Hello. It's almost lunchtime, so I just came on here to update you. I have not gotten any of my things crossed off my list yet, so it's going well. Um, I just finished my meeting and my manager's having another baby, so that's exciting. Um, for him. <laughs> uh, and, but he did get back to me with the approval for to send that email out, so I can, I'll send that out right after lunch. And then back to working on that data visualization. I think it'll probably just honestly take me all week. I'll take breaks every now and then to do the other things like cleaning out my email and reaching out to my colleagues and things like that. So yeah, that's my update for now. I'm going to go start lunch. I'm not sure what we're going to have. We have, we placed a grocery order yesterday, but we, I didn't have time to like meal prep or anything like that. So yeah, let's go figure out what lunch is. <laughs> Okay, so it's now a little after one. Um, I made myself a nice iced coffee for the afternoon pick me up. Um, I think I'm going to listen to podcasts rather than watch Criminal Minds, even though I really want to watch Criminal Minds. I just do find that I work a little faster when I'm just listening to podcasts because I don't have like visual stimulation to like distract me at all. So I think I'm going to stick with podcasts this afternoon, unfortunately, but I really want to get both these data visualizations done this week. I'm sorry for Steven's clothes in the background, by the way. It's a small apartment. There's not much. Uh, yeah, so that's what I, the plan is for the afternoon. I don't have any more meetings. I My colleague ended up reaching out to me, so I don't even have to do that. Um, I do have to send that email off with the data um, request from the data request for last week from last week but my colleague reached out to me so I don't have to reach out to them we're going to set up a meeting tomorrow so that I can show her what to do for the data visualization so that she can do one of the parts that is left remaining and then that just frees me up to do more other stuff fun other stuff so yeah, that's what's going on. I'll update you probably again if I manage to get anything done. Otherwise, if I don't talk to you, I'm just doing data visualization. That's it. The sun is coming up again. Looking like it's going to be a problem. Because I'd be lying to you if I said this ain't a thing and I've been looking for a new one. I keep on waiting for the weekend. Gonna hit you up and tell you that I want ya Cause I just wanna feel like this again Oh, oh, oh All I wanna do is feel awesome Yeah, yeah, yeah All I wanna do is feel awesome Okay, it's four o'clock. I'm walking away from my computer. I am done. I am not feeling the greatest. So, and I've got this pimple and it's so freaking painful that gonna turn off my computer and be done. Turn this all off and then we can go chat. And then we can chat. I'm just gonna fill up my water. Let me chat before I sit down and read my book for a long time because that's what you do when you're not feeling the greatest. You just spend all your time reading or at least that's what I do. Okay. Now that we're all nice and comfy, my blanket, um, I'll just update you on how the rest of the day went. I basically, like I was saying last time I talked to you, was that I was working on data visualization all afternoon like I thought it would be. Um, I didn't get done fixing some things. 
that I wanted to tonight so that I could get the changes could be applied for tomorrow morning because our system only updates at night time because it takes so long to run so it just gets ran overnight um so unfortunately that means the changes won't be applied fully until Wednesday so I'll have to tell my colleague when I'm explaining her part that she's not gonna be able to do anything until at least then now for the rest of the afternoon um Stephen and I normally would be exercising today but I'm really not feeling well so I'm just gonna listen to my body and just take it easy I did go for that short walk this morning as you saw so at least I may move my body a little bit it's actually so nice. I'm so happy the weather is getting nicer again. I think I might even go outside to read. I'm going to try and read on my patio, but if it's, it might be too cold because it doesn't get any sun in the afternoon. So I might have to go either into the courtyard to get some sun. Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. So I'm. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, I might be going into another stay-at-home order. Over a year later, we're going into another stay-at-home order, and that is really sad. And it's really hard mentally to handle that. So if you are also in Ontario and going through that, I totally feel you. And I am mentally coping with books. Last month, I read 11 books, which is crazy. So I'm thinking of potentially doing like a um, wrap up in TBR like I have done in the past. I think I might do that again because I started doing that, those things because I think they're really fun. And um, because I'm reading a lot more, I kind of just want to make one of those videos again. But anyways, yeah, so this is how I'm coping. I want to know how, what you're doing to what's helped you the most during lockdown for in terms of your mental health because I need more ideas I can't just keep escaping into fantasy novels so let me know I'm gonna sit here and read for a while until see when I decide to do dinner we have leftover pizza for dinner so great dinner and I also need to probably edit for a little while. Um, I have big plans to actually start filming more again. I was in a bit of a slump there, so I haven't was only posting like maybe once a week, not even last last week. I didn't even post at all. I was in a bit of a slump, but I'm feeling more motivated now that it, the weather is getting nicer. So. Stay tuned if you're not subscribed make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna try and be a lot more consistent than I have been and yeah. so that's all what I wanted to chat to you about I'm gonna go dive back into this book because I'm like I don't know if you can see that I'm about I want to say like 80% of the way through maybe more than that I don't know um, but it's really intense where it is and I just need to keep reading to figure out what's going to happen. So let's go do that.
Okay guys, so we're in my bedroom now, so you know what that means. It's time for sleep. Um, I It's actually 8.30, so I'm probably going to be reading in bed for probably at least like an hour. Um, the other book that I'm reading right now is the Shadow and Bone series, so I'm reading the first one right now, and they're actually really short books. I thought they were going to be a lot longer. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about the, the series and I can definitely see why. Um, I personally, I think it's an interesting story but I don't really like the main character and so I think that a lot, that's a lot of what the case for a lot of people. That's why. Anyways, but it's getting made into a Netflix show at the end of April so I wanted to hop on the bandwagon and read it so that I know it was it was based on the TV show. Yeah, so I'm just going to be reading in bed for the next hour. So I figured I'd end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you made it to the end, the question of the day is... Um, the question of the day is, what was the last takeout meal you ordered? And it's really funny because I actually wrote in my one from last year and the answer was Kettleman's and I, that was basically almost my last one this time but uh, I actually ordered, so y yesterday we ordered Kettleman's for, oh wait no it wasn't yesterday, was it on Sunday? Anyways, we recently ordered Kettleman's so that's funny that that was my last one ordered last year but it, we did order pizza uh, Domino's last night or yeah, last night and then we have the rest tonight for dinner so that is that that was my last takeout meal that I ordered what was yours let me know in the comments down below if you made it stand and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye